Hi, it's Darren from Zagami's. I'm going to show you how to create simple, healthy and affordable meals that you can prepare for the whole family. Hi everyone, welcome back, great to see you all. Today we're going to be making some beautiful slow braised bobby veal osobuco, served on risotto melanese, topped with some fresh gremolata. Okay, so I've been to my local butcher, got my bobby veal osobuco. Alternatively, you can get the yearling beef, which is off a larger animal, but I do find this particular cut cooks up a lot sweeter and retains its moisture. It comes off this part of the animal, often referred to as the shank. So it takes about an hour and a half to cook, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this cooking and then we'll get onto our risotto. Now we're going to make our osso sauce. Firstly, we'll add our olive oil, then our garlic, onion, celery and carrot. Our herbs, thyme, bay leaf, oregano and a little bit of orange zest to impart some citrus flavour. We're going to fry that off with no colour. Then we're going to deglaze with some white wine and reduce that by half. Then to that, we're going to add some tinned crushed tomatoes and some chicken stock. We'll cook that for about 20 minutes, and in the meantime, while that's going, we'll get our osso meat ready to go. Okay, so we've got some flour here that we've lightly seasoned with paprika and salt. I'm going to coat my osso, lightly dust it off, set it to one side, then we're going to fry it off. Now we're going to seal off our osso. I have a hot non-stick pan. I'm going to add olive oil, then my osso, which I want to get a nice brown colour. This is to seal in the flavour. Add a little butter to the pan and get it all hot and frothy. The French call this technique noisette, which roughly translates to nutty butter. Feel free to use gluten-free flour if you need to. Then we're going to add the meat to the pot where the sauce has been blubbing away and put into the oven for an hour and a half at 180 degrees. Okay, so Aussie's been cooking for about an hour. Just going to check it. Oh, it smells amazing. Just want to see where we're at with our osso. Yeah, it's a little bit firm. Probably needs another half an hour. So what we'll do, we'll put it back in the oven. And in the meantime, we'll get onto our risotto. Okay, now we're going to put together our risotto melanese. We're going to make it a little simpler and do it in a pilaf style. Okay, so we're going to saute off our onions, add the saffron, and two cups of rice which I will toast off lightly. Then add in our chicken stock. I've made this one myself, but you can buy the ready-made from the supermarket. Add the stock, bring to the boil, then cook over a light flame for 25 minutes, which I'm going to stir every five minutes. Okay, now we're going to finish off our risotto melanese. It's perfectly cooked. Going to add some butter. Some Parmigiano Reggiano. Give it a nice bite. And then with my spoon, I'm just going to cream it up. Mmm, that smells amazing. Okay, now we're going to plate up. Straight on with our rice. Look at that. She's cooked perfectly. and just put it straight down the middle. Just piled up. And then for the final flourish, oregano, which I'm just gonna break up over the top. Fresh continental parsley, same again. And this is for our gremolata. A little bit of fresh lemon, just the zest. And like I say, this will just freshen everything up. It's quite a rich dish and you want it to be cleansing for the palate. Orange as well. It smells amazing, it really does smell amazing. And there you have it everyone. Bobby Veal Osobuco, Risotto Melanese, and Fresh Gremolata. Hearty warm dish, gives you cuddles on the inside. For more information on today's dish, visit our website, and for the full recipe, see the comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Everybody loves, everybody loves, everybody loves a guy.